The question I want to ask in this video is, are you using Google Meet or are you using Zoom? A lot of us have been Zoom fatigued over the last few years with COVID and all of the stuff going around. Zoom has obviously taken over the market from Skype and all these other tools that exist. So when it comes to choosing a video conferencing platform, I think most people are using Zoom, right? Most people are familiar with the tool. The interface is simple. It has a desktop app. It has a mobile app. It works. It's functional. And of course, they're adding features and it's fairly stable. When Zoom first became popular, there were security concerns and Zoom has solved a lot of those things. But let's face it, right? If you're using Google and if you're using Google Workspace or if you have your email on Google through a paid Google account, right, to using Google Suite, when you schedule a meeting in your Google Calendar, Google Meet is going to show up as an option to have that conference call. But the question still is like, should you use Google Meet or Zoom? Okay, so there's a couple of things that we're going to be comparing in this video. We're talking about features. We're talking about pricing. We're talking about integrations and we're talking about just general usage and my experience. I've used both. And so I just wanted to do a quick comparison for my own benefit, but also for yours. So let's talk about the features. Google can support 250 people on a live session. Zoom can support up to 500 people. With Zoom, you can upgrade to a thousand or more. You just have to pay for those additional. There's a meeting limit time. I don't know if you knew about this, but Google has got a meeting limit time of 24 hours. Zoom has a meeting limit time of 30 hours. I don't know if anybody who would want to have a 24 hour meeting, but yeah, they're both available on iOS and Android and any other platform. One thing I like about Google Meet is you can have a one hour long meeting, even if it's a group where you're the host and it's free. Now let's cover cost. Both of these tools are free on a basic package. If you don't have a paid Google account, then you still have access to Meet. You just can't record your calls. Zoom also has a free option. It's a limit of 40 minutes and it works totally fine. In terms of just Google itself, if you're on the paid plan with Google Workspace or your Google Suite, then you're paying somewhere around $6 per user, depending on the plan that you're on. Zoom's minimum is $15 a month. But most likely, if you're using Google Workspace, then you're already paying for those people to get their email address set up and to get Google Drive and all of these things. So Google Meet then becomes just a free feature for you because you're already using the other services. Now, in terms of integrations, Zoom has got a app marketplace where you can connect to multiple different services and have your transcriptions going with Otter and a bunch of other tools as well with Google as well, right? There are lots of integrations with Google, but because Google Meet already integrates with Calendar and it integrates with email and all of these things, it's kind of easy to use. It's kind of simple. One of the interesting things about about Google is that they've made a lot of changes to Google Meet over the last couple of years, especially with the rise of Zoom. And I feel like they're on par in terms of service. One feature that's really nice about Zoom is the breakout rooms, but you may not know this is actually available in Google Meet as well. If you're on a paid version, you can actually create breakout rooms and send people over into those rooms. It works exactly the same way as Zoom. That's a nice feature to have. One other thing that's really nice about Google Meet is there are a ton of extensions that can be added to your Chrome browser to enhance the experience or to enhance the visual appeal or just the usage of Google Meet. So let's talk about the security issues. Obviously, Zoom had security issues in the beginning of COVID, uh, somewhere around the beginning of 2020. And so, you know, Zoom has done a lot of work to patch up all of those things, sort those type of uh, Zoom bombing and, and all of those interesting things out. Google, on the other hand, have never really had any security concerns. I think they're focusing on privacy a lot more, but they haven't had any real issues when it comes to the privacy of your information. So I would say that using Google Meet your data is secure, you're all good in terms of saving your meetings, saving your recordings. It's a really good option to have. So let me know in the comments, what are you using Google Meet or Zoom? And if you're going to be migrating from Zoom to Google Meet, let me know in the comments why. For me, I'm still using Zoom. And I guess the reason is because just all my clients are just familiar with the tool. I am going to be considering and testing Google Meet over in the future. And I'll let you know in a future video how that experience is going.